hey guys welcome back to my channel it's captain gadget and today we're going to be learning how to make this this is what we call the loop back plug loop back plug this helps you to check if your network switch is functional you can plug this into every port and check the led if it comes up if it comes up it means the switch is good if it doesn't do not stress yourself checking the wires and changing wires and all that. Just replace the switch. Welcome back to my channel again. Let's get to it. The three items you need to carry out this test are 1. RJ45 connector CAT5 The CAT5 cable A very short one The crimping tool you can get one of these in one of your local tech store. Now, we're going to have this one, this CAT5 cable peeled out. I'll bring out the strands. Yes, this is what we need. And I'm going to be picking orange and mixed orange. So I'll insert the mixed orange in pin 1. Uh, when you hold your connector, make sure that you start counting from the left. And make sure that the pins are facing up. So you count from here. This is pin 1. This is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven and eight those are the metallic pins so following that i'm going to be inserting the mix orange first in pin one as you can see so the other end of it goes to pin three if you count and you look very closely you find that it's in the on the third slot while the other one which is the orange goes to pin 2 and the other end of the orange goes to pin 6 so it's quite simple between three and six you have just two gaps and those are the two gaps you see here in the middle so we have one two three and six one goes to three two goes to six just like creating a cross cable. The next thing to do is to get a creepy tool like this. You insert from this end. Once it's properly seated, then you press that's it important notice this only works for a 10 by 100 MB switch I'm going to be making another video that's going to teach you how to test with a loopback plug, a 100 by 1000 switch. So when you are carrying out your test, make sure you look at the switch properly. There's going to be an inscription on it. 10 by 100 or gigabit. Gigabit means 100 by 1000. So over here, I have my TP-Link TL-SF1024D. And you can see the inscription 10 by 100 mbps switch 
this is the switch we are going to be using for this test aha very good so try this and uh, let me know what you guys think on the comment section so that's it guys about the loop back plug like subscribe and hit the notification bar for more exciting tutorials like this see ya